वेलकम बैक गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी हाउ यू ऑल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑल लेसन आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू थिंक यू समथिंग इज देर एनी काइंड ऑफ इन्सिडेंट हैपन इन युअर लाइफ जीवनामध्ये आपल्या प्रत्येक म्हणजे अनेक अनेक वेळा असे प्रसंग घडतात की त्याचा परिणाम आपल्या जीवनावर खूप खोलवर होत असतो फॉर एक्झाम्पल कोविड नाईन्टीन you know since so three four months we are inside of home and everything is finished so what kind of impact of these things in your life can you forget these things in two or three days no not at all not a single human on the earth can forget this impact of covid 19 throughout his whole lifetime another time another thing any incident what happened in our life konti ghatna jar juna mane ghadli tar ती एक तो खूप खोलवर परिणाम करते आणि दुसरी गोष्ट म्हणजे आपण त्याच्यातून काय शिकतो वॉट डिड वी लर्न फ्रॉम दॅट सो द सेम थिंग इज हिअर टुडे यू आर गोना लर्न सेकंड ऑफ अ लेसन दॅट इज अन एनकाउंटर ऑफ स्पेशल काइंड बाय तपन मुखर्जी द लेसन इज ऑल अबाउट एन इन्सिडेंट अकर्ड इन द लाईफ ऑफ द रायटर रायटरच्या जीवनामध्ये एक प्रसंग घडलेला आहे जेव्हा तो टीनेज होता पंधरा वर्षाचा असताना ही वॉज फिफ्टीन इयर्स ओल्ड मेअरली अँड दॅट इम्पॅक्ट ऑफ द इन्सिडेंट वॉज ॲब्सुटली प्रोफाउंड ही कुड नॉट फोटेट दिस होल्ड थ्रू आउट हिज होल लाईफ अँड सेकंड थिंग ही हॅज डन सो मेनी थिंग्स फ्रॉम इट सो देर आर टू ॲस्पेक्ट ऑफ एनिथिंग वट हॅपन इन अवर लाईफ इट लेव or it leaves a very you know deep effect on our life i think you think it teaches us something so before starting our lesson i just want to take a very quick tour of a difficult word at my uh, left side of the board so i have written here difficult words our textbook page number 10 and there are some paragraphs and pa- passages so the very first passage we have from um textbook page number 8 sorry textbook page number 8 very first passage we have started from my father was till our existence and daily life so i thought some difficult words are there i have written in here let's see have a quick uh bundles of it individual individual that word is used in a paragraph first in english the similar meaning would be in single single one we can say marathi madhe tar vyaktik ritya asa tacha arth asto uh adjacent another word is used in first paragraph adjacent the similar meaning in english next to next to me next to my house that's a marathi madhe la lagun kiwa cha bajula third word difficult in first paragraph of textbook page number 8 i am talking about majestic what is the meaning of majestic in english superior wonderful bhavya divya kiwa khup chang नजरेला आवडणार अशा प्रकारचा नंबर फोर वर्ड डिफिकल्ट वी हॅव फॉर इन अवर फर्स्ट पॅरेग्राफ इज लक्झरियस लक्झरियस द सिमिलर मिनिंग इज डिलक्स मिस ना डिलक्स रूम डिलक्स बंगलो डिलक्स बेडरूम चेरीचा विलास एकदम आरामात असते फिफ्थ नंबर वर्ड हाऊस होल्ड्स दॅट वर्ड इज यूज इन फर्स्ट पॅरेग्राफ हाऊस होल्ड्स वॉट डज इट मीन इन इंग्लिश फॅमिली होम related to home related to family what are what are, what are the things members and furniture all the things are there ghara sambandhi cha ghara cha ajubadur do ahe ki ghara madhe jo ahe ta goshti cha magnificent another word is used in first paragraph and the similar meaning is splendid what is the meaning in english bhavya khup chang asa tacha arth hoi ani number 7 word in first paragraph sat word ahe ta first paragraph madhe jo difficult ahe existence what does it mean it means living astitva jeevan apan jagat asto tyala existence mhanta so this is the first paragraph down side of it on page number 8 of your textbook there is a second paragraph and it starts from a small incident till festive season so this is the second paragraph we have only three word that is difficult incident that word is used in english we got occurrence happenings tala apan ghatna kiwa ghatna karam asa mhanto marathi mhanto second word in second paragraph textbook page number 8 profound in english the 
सिमिलर मीनिंग ऑफ प्रोफाउंड इज इंटेन्स खूब इंटेन्स है वो तो सो इंटेन्स तो एकदम प्रखर है झटकून घोल जाए घोल वर चल इतने घोल वर हा अर्थान जो आज मना एकदम मना एकदम चोर कप्प्या जाऊ तो परिणाम कर नंबर थर्ड इन सेकेंड पैराग्राफ वी हैव वेरियस एंड मीनिंग इज टाइप्स डिफरंट विविध प्रकार का हा अर्थान अपने अभ्यास मध्य है टेक्सबुक पेज नंबर एट आपका थर्ड पैराग्राफ है तिथे दैट बिगिन्स फ्रॉम आफ्टर अ हर्टी लंच एंड एंड एट अब्सॉर्ड इन द बुक जवरपास चार पांच शब्द है देर आर फोर फाइव वर्ड्स विच आर लिटिल बिट डिफिकल्ट सो लेट्स वी हैव अ क्विक टू एंड मीनिंग ऑफ इट देन वी वी हैव अ सिंपल अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू नो सो मेनी थिंग्स वुड बी क्लियर सो मेनी थिंग्स वुड बी सिंपल बाय पासिंग एवरी इच मोमेंट जस्ट स्टे विथ मी पैराग्राफ थ्री बैकड्रॉप बैकड्रॉप हा शब्द वाले है थर्ड पैराग्राफ मे एंड दैट द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्ड इज बैकग्राउंड इज द बैकग्राउंड इज सो वर्ड्स मे That we say means that's a background look kind of thing. Like to hear to now kind of thing. Asa 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 arth. If the background is a arth, I like it. Azu mazu so wata wala. What is the atmosphere around say you? I will adventure. Second word is used. Adventure risky. Sahasi karte karne asa dhasa sa. That's a good word. That's risky. Third one we have occasionally. Occasionally means from time to time, from interval to interval, interval. Uh, Suppose today, then after living two three days, then again study. So from time to time, madhum madhum asa asa arthas ko madhum madhum chota madhum madhum marani hai. Number four, snoring. Snoring, ghorne sa awa jasto. Kya sound in sleeping asa chuda hone shakto? Kya wo tarse definition hota? The sound which can make after sleeping through mouth or now noise. Means now nose, uh, it kind of a noise we can say. Kya wo tarse marani hai? Ghorne asa hota. Absorbed in that is the last word which is in third paragraph is difficult to reach. Absorbed in some kind of busy, engaged in something completely. Chande purna pane bhumple la. Asa kaisa arto hui. This is all about our words. Once again, we see individual, vapid, adjacent, da da dum kya vacha baju la. Majestic, bhumye ani divya. Wow, what a majestic bhumye. Luxurious, it looks like dum. जीवन अस्तित्व का पैराग्राफ थर्ड मध्य बैकग्राउंड हा शब्द है अर्थ हो आजूबाजू च वातावरण एडवेन्चर साहसी कि धासी हा कृत्या ओकेजनली अधुन मधुन कि मधुन मधुन स्नोरिंग घोरिंग जॉब इन ज्यादा पूर्णपने गुंते अभ्यास करता पूर्णपने गुंतु जो मैं समझ नहीं क्या चाहिए अब्जॉर्ब इन मन तो सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट थर्ड पैराग्राफ वी हैव फोर पैराग्राफ ऑन पेज नंबर एट बट फोर पैराग्राफ आई गिव यू अफ्टर्स So before starting our lesson, let me have a little bit introduction about the lesson and an encounter of special kind. Hello, encounter kya mili lai? Kya ki sakma encounter hai sakma kaso? So police sa chijewa bida toh thoda encounter hoto. Par ite encounter ha incident ki wo happening ki wo ekadi ghatna ya ekadi wo mili lai. Special kind ek prakar sa dhana vara hai ki wo ek prakar sa prani hai jis cha sober dekha kaso garment zhe diya hai. Okay, so the lesson is about. an incident which took place in the life uh, of the writer when he was 15 years old and this in fact this incident left a very profound and very deep impact on his life and secondly he had learned so many things from that incident what was the incident writer dapan mukherjee when he was 15 years old he tried to save the baby langur ek magal cha dilu baby langur from the dominant male of the group और डॉमिनेंट मेल ऑफ द गैंग ऑफ द मंकी मंकी जी जी गैंग होती त्या गैंग मध्ये जो ओनर वाना होता प्रमुख त्याच्या तावळीतून लेखकानं एक लहान बाळ जे मकरा सोबत त्याला वाचवले आहे सो ही डिस्क्राइब ऑल द थिंग्स व्हाट हॅपेंड देयर देन ही प्रोवाइडेड फर्स्ट एड एंड बनाना एज अ फूड एंड सेव्ह इट्स लाइफ त्या त्याचं जीवन वाचवण्यामध्ये 
त्या शिंदूची जी आई होती बेबी लंगूर्स मदर मदर लंगूर मीन्स इट गेव थँक्स टू द रायटर बट द वे ऑफ डिफरन्स सो रायटर लर्न द वे ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन ह्युमन अँड अॅनिमल इज नॉट जस्ट ऑफ ओनली फूड देर माय बी समथिंग डिफरंट टू कनेक्ट इच अदर देर माय बी समथिंग डिफरंट टू टॉक देर माय बी अ लुक देर माय बी अ बिहेवियर देर माय बी कम्पॅशन लव आवर अप्रोच टुवर्ड्स द अॅनिमल सो रायटर हॅज लर्न दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द लेसन uh what is that lesson give uh, what kind of message does lesson give to students one we should have a very you know mutual understanding between animal and us second we can communicate with them but we need to develop the techniques third we have to take in of the animals these three messages we have uh, from this lesson so before starting lesson i would like to take uh, uh, one simple uh, look check this out with our seven everybody so here are some questions this is warming up um the question of chit chat i'm ready so take a pencil in your hand you can write in there what do you see in the picture a picture is given here a girl carrying a puppy uh, from a water so what do you see in the picture the picture mein kya pata hai we can see in a picture a baby small girl is carrying a puppy p u p p y p the uttar chhatra ke liye bolta hai number second question what do you think the girl is trying to do and why tumhala ka vatto mi kay karti hai ani kasha mal karti hai so the girl is trying to save a puppy from the drowning water of the river why because she wants to save that puppy number third if you were in place of that girl what would you do tumhi jar tya mundi cha jage var asa ki asla asta tumhi kay kele asta of course we would have said so answer would be that way we would do the same as girl is doing in a picture apan te same kele asta kapila vatsa asta do you think number four question do you think she will become successful in her mission तिनं मिशन हातात घेतलेला आहे उपक्रम हातात घेतलेला आहे त्या पॉप्युलर वाचवून डू यू थिंक तुम्हाला वाटतं का की तिला यश मिळेल त्याच्यामध्ये अफकोर्स आय ऍब्सोल्युटली थिंक आय ऍब्सोल्युटली बिलीव्ह शी वुड बी सक्सेसफुल इन हर मिशन सो दॅट वुड बी द आन्सर ऑल अबाउट युअर दिस क्वेश्चन चिट चॅट एव्हरीबॉडी टर्न डाऊन मॅच द अप्रोप्रिएट हेडिंग्स विथ द इमेजेस इथे हेडिंग्स दिलेले आहेत आणि त्या इमेजेसचे नंबर्स तिथं म्हणजे अल्फाबेट तिथे मॅच करायचे आहेत नंबर वन दिलेला आहे आवर लक्झरियस बंगलो तिथं सी नंबर येईल माय फेवरेट पास टाईम ए नंबर येईल वॉट आर कमोशन डी नंबर शूड कम दॅ अँड द लास्ट वन यू नो द आन्सर यू आर क्लेवर ओके दिस इज ऑल अबाउट अ बॅन ऑफ अ लेसन सो लेस वी स्टार्ट टू मेस यू राईट पेज नंबर एट एव्हरीबॉडी पेज नंबर एट दिस इज आय टू टेल यू फर्स्ट वी टेक द फर्स्ट पॅराग्राफ इफ यू think any uh, word as a difficult don't understand the meaning so please i request you at the same time see here the words are here okay so let's we start with the name of grace or god page number 8 i'm reading it i i request you all when i read lines or paragraph you have to be there put your finger and go through it my father was a medical professional working for a private company in rani ganj in west bengal you know the name mukherjee banerjee chatterjee bose roy these all people are from bengal so my father was a medical professional working for a private company in rani ganj in west bengal the officers of the company were housed housed in individual bungalow inside a large campus our house was in a corner of the campus the officers club was adjacent to the boundary wall of our garden the compound was luxurious with red grass with green grass colorful flowers and a host of tall and majestic trees the seasonal vegetables in the kitchen gardens of the households and the magnificent trees constantly attracted squirrels and many species of birds 
A group of Nangurs had even made their den in an Aswatha tree nearby. They had all become a part and parcel of our existence and daily life. This is all about first paragraph. Which means that two words are there: part and parcel. That is essential part of life. As I said, two words are there: part and parcel. Back and forth, up and down. As you know, when you are talking about two words, that is one word. Part is the word last, but part and parcel are so good. That means essential part of your life. If the day is short, that is day, the end. Day is short. तस गुफा गुहा हस्ते ना वाला जी तो तेरा वो अपने लास्ट ओपन इधे हैबिटेट ऑफ़ द एनिमल्स तो लेट्स वी सी व्हाट वी हैव इन आवर फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ द राइटर राइटर इस टॉकिंग अबाउट हिस बैकग्राउंड ऑफ़ द फैमिली इस फादर वाज़ मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल वर्किंग इन अ प्राइवेट कंपनी दे वेर लिविंग रानी and he he described about his house, what kind of house and what were the things were there. Uh, so the very first, uh, his house was really very next to the officers club. Officers club that is the place which is provided by the company that is official place where um, all the people, all the officers can go and sit there and discuss. That is public place, public house. Then uh, that was next to his house garden. Compound. He described about the compound where Rato was living. The compound was so luxurious. It was so huge. It was so beautiful. There were so many huge and majestic trees. Uh, one name has been given of the tree Aswatha. That was a huge inside. That was magnificent. And there were colorful flowers, different type of flowers, and so many trees. And and there were seasonal vegetables. You know, you know, when society they have a different types of houses. So at the back side of house they means make a kind of a garden where they can grow tomato and different kind of vegetables that they can use uh, sometimes. So there were there was seasonal vegetables in the kitchen garden. They had a garden in the fam in the house. Um, again, such a type of atmosphere which suits so many animals as their habitat. Uh, from the squirrels, many species of birds, different types of birds, group of langurs. These types of things used to come and live there inside the campus of the house. Um, the group of langur, group of monkey, they had made their uh, habitat, made their you know home that different type means that big or very majestic, very huge inside of tree. So that was their their habitat. So, next, and these things all, uh, whatever it had been described in the first paragraph, writer says, they become the part of their lives, everyday part of their lives. It was not out of their home, it was inside it, it was inside their surroundings. So, that's why writer describes about um, his daily life, his um, home, what kind of home he has been living in, and second thing about his father. थोड़ क्या पहले पैराग्राफ में लेखक अपन मुखर्जी हे टेंशन वर्णन बदल बोलता कि ते मेडिकल में जो उन्हें क्या अधिकारी होते सेकंड थी ते आपने घर बदल बोलते ती जाने वाली मेंशन के लिए यानी रानीगंज वेस्ट मंगल में आए तब जब घर बदल तो खूब भंगी दिव्य बदल तो चुम्बे खूब मोटे मोटे झाड़ा होती विध स्क्वेरल्स इस थी मंजिल खरोटा ही उन्हें आने एक मात्रा से जो एक ग्रुप होता है तेंसे जो एक टोई होती है ती टोई तें मुठ्ठा अस्वाथ नाम चल झालावर रही थी सो दिस इज़ ऑल अबाउट ऑफ़ फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ एवरीबॉडी कम ऑन सेकेंड पैराग्राफ पेज नंबर एच योर सेकेंड पैराग्राफ स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम अ स्मॉल इंसिडेंट left a profound effect on me and unfolded before my eyes a whole new dimension to the wonders of God's creation. It was a few days into the puja vacation, just like for any other child, the holidays provided an opportunity for me to become engrossed in various magazines and storybooks published specially for children in festive season. Second paragraph, we have second paragraph and there are three, four words which are used. So
So you just see the meaning of it. What does poet talks about in second paragraph? He says one incident happens in his life. Then again, in comfort of special kind, Mutlela hai. That is only incident which happened. A small incident on Saturday afternoon. Ek ghatna ghali liye Saturday la afternoon ma de dupari. Ane tya ghatna ghali enche juna kuch mota parinam ella hai. Ani what does he learn from that incident? That incident disclosed a different kind of meaning of the creation of the God. What creations? Animals. He had writer had learned a different kind of things. He had not any idea. So that incident taught him about the creation of the God. That is the animal. Um, we have a holidays in Dipavali. So in Kolkata, uh, West Bengal, they have very huge festival of Pu Devi, uh, goddess. So he has given a puja vacation. That is called puja vacation. So he had a holidays, and writer was so excited to read different kinds of magazines and books and stories because he had a vacation. He had holidays. If you have holidays, you don't have a class, homeworks, school, and anything. Just you can do whatever you want to. So as a student or as any other child, he was so happy. But that day only, it was a festive season. Um, we can say in a Bengal, um, there is a festive season as we have a Dipavali, Mahashtra, we celebrate it all around the India. But in Bengal, uh, the Puja vacation, uh, you know, Devi festival is called. That um, is really very big in um, amount of uh, academic or any, any concerning with anything else. So student has been given a holidays and offices has been given the holidays so he has also uh, has a holiday so this is all about second paragraph poet even some tapan mukherji second paragraph madhe sangta ki tanche juna madhe ek saturday afternoon la manje dupari shanivari dupari je prasang ghadlela ahe tya prasangane tanche juna madhe khup khulvar parinam kelela ahe ani tanna ek nisargacha vegvegya goshti samajnyasathi tya incident chi madat zaleli ahe तो जो वेळ होता तो जो काळ होता त्या पिरियड जो होता तो पूजा व्हेकेशनचा होता बंगालमध्ये ज्यावेळेस सुट्ट्या भेटतात शाळेंना आणि लेखकाला सुद्धा सुट्टी भेटलेली आहे म्हणून बाकीच्या विद्यार्थ्यांसारखं त्यांना सुद्धा आता खूप पुस्तकं वाचायची आहे स्टोरीज वाचायची आहे ही वॉज फिफ्टीन इयर्स ओल्ड मे अर एट द टाईम सो इफ यू फील एनी डिफरंट वर्ड एनी वर्ड विच इज डिफिकल्ट सो प्लीज चेक आउट दिस वर्ड दिस पॅरा पार्ट पॅराग्राफ सेकंड so come on page number 8 everybody we have a third paragraph um if you face any difficult word in third paragraph while reading so you can just check it in there so let's we start paragraph third third paragraph begins from after a hearty lunch did you get that page number 8 everybody okay after a hearty lunch hearty lunch after a hearty lunch my parents and my younger sister lay down for an afternoon nap and i sat down with a story book the quiet afternoon pre presented the perfect backdrop for reading an adventure story the silence was occasionally broken by the sound of my family snoring the intermittent chirping of house sparrows the harsh cooing of a crow the shrill call of a kite flying high above the ground minutes ticked by i became deeply absorbed in the book in third paragraph tapan mukherjee talks about that day when this incident occurred that day when he jema ghatna ghadli tya dushi he had his a very good lunch tasty and yummy lunch his parents and his younger sister choti bhai they went to sleep to take a little nap dupari ghetle janare so tela nap mata and i sat down with the story book he had taken so many story books whatever he had and just he went uh, into veranda or somewhere else into the house um, you know campus and said that said there to read he was so excited he just finished his his, his lunch and just went there and he has described whatever atmosphere around side him was absolutely good to read it was so much uh, silence and just only the sound was of snoring maybe his father might be snoring at that time second thing there might be a little bit um, sound of the crows kaula cha koko karnacha avaz hota and sparrows which were around side him 
so that he has to describe about and writer was absolutely busy uh, in reading the book in reading story books in third paragraph tapan mukherjee te um, writer tapan mukherjee sangta ki third paragraph madhe ki tanni dupatsa manje jeevan kelela ahe lunch ketela ahe saturday afternoon la ani lunch ketla nantar tanchi bhin ani ai wadi dupari jhok gela sathi gelle ahe writer ne kay kela ahe tapan mukherjee ne tanchi story books ketleli ahe ani ti ata vachala basun gela ahe then he described about the atmosphere and he also what about described kelela ahe ki tya vatavarna madhe चोवीकडे शांतता होती निरोग शांतता आहे फक्त घोरण्याचा आवाज त्यांना डिस्टर्ब करत होता आणि अधूनमधून काळ्याचा काप आणि शिमल्याचं चिवचिव बाकी त्यांचं काही काय ते कोणीतरी लांब पतंग उडवत आहे त्या पतंगाचा भरभरणाचा सुद्धा आवाज त्यांना ऐकू येतो फक्त एवढं त्यांना डिस्टर्बन्स होतं रेस्ट ऑफ एव्हरीथिंग वॉज ॲब्सोल्युटली नाईस टू ट्रीट सो दॅट्स वाय ही कॉल्ड इज बॅकग्राऊंड बॅकग्राऊंड ऑल राईट दिस इज ऑल अबाउट युअर पॅराग्राफ थर्ड विल स्टार्ट पॅराग्राफ फोर सो एव्हरीबडी चेक इट इज दॅ so the paragraph number 4 we have on page number 8 everybody uh, that paragraph starts from paragraph number 4 starts from suddenly the last very last paragraph of page number textbook 8 paragraph 4 the difficult word of paragraph 4 4 one of them is furiously that word is used in a paragraph furiously and another word is used in a paragraph same way aggressively both of them have a same meaning त्यांचा अर्थ काय होईल आक्रमक रागाने द्वेषाने द्वेषाने या अर्थाने पॅराग्राफ फोर मध्ये दुसरा वर्ड दिलेला आहे इग्नोर त्याला आपण अवॉइड किंवा अवॉयडन्स असं सुद्धा म्हणू शकतो दोन्ही वर्ड पण आहेत नाम पण आहे दुर्लक्ष करणे पॅराग्राफ फोर चेकेट वन सेकंड एव्हरी बॉडी पॅराग्राफ फोर डिफिकल्ट वर्ड आहे पेज नंबर एट आय एम गोट रीड इट नाव यू गॅट सी सडनली I heard a group of street dogs barking furiously in the distance. I chose to ignore the commotion, thinking that the pack of dogs might have cornered a hell, helpless pig. But soon the barking became louder and more aggressive, and, and, and the alarm coming of a flock of crow added to the cacophony. I also heard the disturbance approaching closer. It means here in fourth number paragraph, writer talks about when he was reading, right? Tapan Mukherjee was reading the story books, and so and everything was just silence everywhere. Suddenly he heard the sound of the barking dogs outside the street, outside of his home. There was you know, road, maybe there might be some kind of a road or something else. So many dogs were just starting. start to bark it was just commotion but just so much you know disturbing sound apart from that cow means crows and different types of maybe birds they were also starting to make sounds cow and something like that coving that is used for the sound of crow so these all things this all commotion this all noise may disturbed to the writer so writer firstly thought it might be um, the street dog may have caught or may have a hunt of a means unfortunate pig happiness is word what is used in a paragraph that is for unfortunate so dog might hunt a pig which might be in a corner or somewhere else so that's why this kind of a cacophony cacophony means a very noise a different kinds of you know disturbing noise which can disturb you from entirely your mental can disturb so so right of us ignore that things and let it go it happens it's okay the dogs might be after the pig and because of dog and pig crows may be making noise cooing and that things were going on so let it go i have to read my book so right of living that thing or ignoring that commotion that sound right of again went into the greedy so in last paragraph that is the four number paragraph we have and the difficult words are here once again i am telling you see that uh, chautya paragraph made uh, lekhak tapan mukherji he uh, vachat he sangta ki te pustak vachle basle hote vatavaran khup chan hota achanak tancha gharacha bajula kuthe tari rodavar kutre bhunkat hoti tancha ekada group asel pack asel pack nantar tela pack of the dog ani 
तो कदाचित ढुक शिकार के ढुक शिकार करना भुंकत ही कावे कावपाव कारण सग कावे सुधा कावप करते हैं कि आई विल इग्नोर इट मैं दुर्लक्ष कर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट आवर पेज नंबर एट विच हैड फोर पैराग्राफ एट वर्डी पेज नंबर एट का जो विचार के सग का सो इन ऑल वर्ड वी हैव इन आवर पेज नंबर एट द राइटर डिस्क्राइब्स अबाउट हिज फैमिल होम एंड बैकग्राउंड बिफोर हैपनिंग द इन्सिडेंट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट फोर पेज नंबर एट लेस वी जम ऑन पेज नंबर नाइन गाइज ऑफ युअर टेक्स्ट बुक दिस वॉज दिस इज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट पेज नंबर एट पेज नंबर नाइन सॉरी पेज नंबर नाइन की आवर फिफ्थ नंबर पैराग्राफ वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आई ग्लास बट टू लाइन्स आर लेफ्ट ओवर ऑफ पैराग्राफ फोर सो दैट आर बी कंप्लीट फर्स्ट क्यूरियसिटी गॉट द बेटर ऑफ मी लिविंग द बुक असाइड आई रश टू द वरांडा टू सी वॉट वॉज गोइंग ऑन एंड वॉट वॉट वॉज गोइंग ऑन आउट साइड राइटर वॉज रीडिंग द बुक डॉक्स वेर पार्किंग एंड पिग वॉज मेकिंग अ साउंड क्रोज वेर ग्रोइंग सो ही थॉट It's okay. They did go, but it was just coming closer and making louder and louder again. So that's why he kept his book aside and said, "Let me go and just watch it. Just let me see." So he right up, leaving his book, uh, story book aside, went outside to see what was going on. Why dogs were barking? The fourth, fourth, the paragraph has the chapter. The incident described in the last one. The girl is showing the book to the master. The room is full. एकदा जाऊन पहुन घेन क्यूरियसिटी है अपने अनेक वे होती है the difficult words which are used approximately only three words are used in fifth number paragraph as a difficult one of them is a glance similar meaning in english would be we look tasa marathi madhe arth hui nazar no drushti ek ojar tar nazar second one apparently apparently the similar meaning of apparently in english seemingly seemingly cha arth hui var var pahata var var nu jar pahile tar asa vatat hota asa tar arth hui apparently it was looking like asal sangte number third intent pass fit paragraph mane number third intent ha word alela ahe tacha jo arth hoy similar purpose ani tacha marathi madhe arth ahe hetu kiwa uddesh so this is all about paragraph fit let's go on paragraph fit everybody page number 9 of your textbook and here we go i glanced towards the roof of the club house and saw something horrible a big man lungur apparently the leader of its group was holding a baby lungur in his hands and mercilessly beating it all over with a definite intent to kill the helpless mother of baby and other lesser members of the lungur group were scattered on the roofs of the buildings nearby watching the baby be killed i recall the terrible custom custom in the animal clan according to which a dominant male usually does not allow other male baby or adult to survive within its group in paragraph number 5 that incident and whatever happened right talks about whenever he went keeping his book aside and just saw on the roof of the club which was next to his house and he saw very horrible things was going on very dangerous thing was going on and what was going on the male lungu who was the leader of the group of the monkey you know so he was the main leader he was the leader holding a baby lungu in his hand and just putting and beating and just biting that baby was a small and the group leader wanted to kill that baby that was the first time writer realized a different kind of a tradition custom tradition a process eka prakarcha manje ti pratha pratha jala so tradition in an animal 
most of the animal when they are leaders male they don't allow other baby or adult to live in their group they kill when they are baby the same thing was going on the the leader lungu was trying to kill the baby baby was in its hand it was breathing it was putting it uh, smashing it was just horrible things was going on पाचव्या पॅरेग्राफमध्ये लेखक सांगतात की त्यांनी पुस्तक बाजूला घेऊन एक दृष्टी शेप टाकला त्यांच्या घराच्या बाजूला जो क्लब होता ऑफिसर्स क्लब दॅ त्या ऑफिसर्स क्लब म्हणून त्यांनी पाहिलं की त्या झाडाच्या तिथे जवळपास एक भयंकर दर्शन त्यांना पाहायला भेटलेला आहे जो ग्रुपचा लिडर होता मंकीमध्ये लंगूरमध्ये त्यांना काय केलं त्याच्या हातामध्ये एक बेबी लंगूर त्यांना हातात धरलेला होता आणि तो त्यांना मारत होता आणि खूप दुर् म्हणजे दुर्दैवानं ते म्हणजे असं वाटत होतं की तो बेबी लंगूर मरणार आहे आणि हा त्याला मारून टाकणार आहे तर ही एक प्रथा होती जी लेखकाला कळालेली आहे शेवटी प्रथा कोणती होती की जे मेन लंगूर असतात जे लिडर असतात ग्रुपमध्ये मग ते लॉयन असतील किंवा मोठमोठ्या कोणत्या ग्रुपमध्ये प्राण्यांचे ते काय करतात की जे मेन दुसरे बेबीज आहे किंवा अडल्ट आहे जे दुसरे यंग आहे त्यांना जगू देत नाही त्यांना मारून टाकतात कारण त्यांना असं वाटतं त्या ग्रुप लिडरला की हे उद्या मला येऊन कॉम्पिटिशन होईल आणि मला हा चॅलेंज करेल म्हणून ते चॅलेंज कमी करण्यासाठी ते त्यांना मारत होते मार मारून टाकतात आणि सेम थिंग वॉज गोईंग ऑन हे आहे दॅट बॉस ऑर दॅट द लिडर ऑफ अ ग्रुप ऑफ द मंकी वॉज ट्राईंग टू किल द बेबी मंकी सो पॅराग्राफ नंबर सिक्स ऑन पेज नंबर नाईन ऑफ युअर टेक्स बुक एव्हरीबॉडी and your paragraph number 6 we begin from without using any time okay paragraph number 6 before going inside it we have a different types of difficult words we have only two words that are used as a difficult assault one word is used in it the similar meaning of assault is attack assault cha sadharna arth hoy halla achanak zhalela halla to kelela halla certain circumstances सर्कमस्टन्सेस दॅट वर्ड इज यूज त्याला कंडिशन्स किंवा डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ ॲटमॉस्फिअर आपण म्हणू शकतो इथे परिस्थिती या अर्थामध्ये आलेला आहे म्हणून इथे कंडिशन आपण सिमिलर घेतलेला आहे सो युअर सिक्स नंबर पॅराग्राफ हेअर वी गॉ विदाउट लुझिंग एनी टाईम आय गॅदर अ स्टाउट स्टिक इन वन हॅन्ड आय हर्ट अ पीस ऑफ स्टोन ॲट द मॅरोंटिंग लंगूर द लंगूर वॉज सो इन फ्युरिएटेड दॅट इट हॅड टू टूक एनी नोटीस of my assault but when i started throwing more stones the dogs on their part raised their pitch of cry now writer describes about the incident what what happened after seeing such a horrible scene writer could not uh, stop himself he just tried to find out a very good stick he hold stick in his hand took some stones and started throwing on the Uh, you know group leader that lungu but what happened afterwards that lungu was so you know that mela group was so uh, you know in a anger even he did not notice that somebody threw stones or somebody hit him stone what happened then afterwards right to throw more stones and finally at one side right is throwing stones and showing the stick on another side uh, dogs were barking and raised their sound so that men lungu that leader was confused then we have um, six number je paragraph hai tyacha madhe writer na describe kelela hai ki he sagal pahun tanna je he manje asa drashya pahun ni chitra prakar cha drashya pahila nantar tanne kai kela apan pustak bazula thevlela hai lakun hatat ghetli ani kai dagla hatat ghetlela hai ani te kai karta hai tya lungu la jo baby lungu la marat hota leader त्याला मारायला सुरुवात केली परंतु तो लिडर एवढा रागात होता की त्यांना ते नोटिसच केलं नाही की कुठेतरी मला दगडं मारत आहे फायनली कुत्रे एकाकडून भुंकत आहे आणि रायटर एका कुणी दगडं मारत आहे म्हणून त्यांना थोडंसं नोटीस घेतलेलं आहे की कुणीतरी माझ्यावर हल्ला करतो त्या लिडर हू हू वॉज ट्राईंग टू किंग बेबी लंग ऑन पेज नंबर नाईन युअर पॅरेग्राफ नंबर सेव्हन विल बिगिन फ्रॉम द चेंज सर्कमस्टन्सेस पॅरेग्राफ नाईन पॅरेग्राफ सेव्हन सॉरी so seven paragraph i did not write here because there is no difficult word i don't think there is difficult word so paragraph seven circumstances there are there is a different kind you know such a word already we have using conditions the change the change circumstances means change condition 
and the sudden unexpected attack from the unknown quarters forced the langur to drop the baby from the sloping roof over the veranda the baby was listless and appeared to be dead as its baby started to slide down the excitement of the pack of dogs grew manifold at the prospect of a good kill and me keeping the dogs at the bay page number 10 your paragraph number 7 begins on page number 10 too so come on page number 10 and very first paragraph i went with a stick i managed to catch hold of the baby langur's tail just as it tipped over the edge of the tile roof the baby appeared inert and lifeless i was indeed it was indeed a male baby so what is inside the paragraph number 7 which begins from page number 9 and ends on page number 10 of your textbook so let me tell you about what happened so the circumstances means the condition when writer started to throwing the stones dogs were barking so the male langur was confused and suddenly it thought somebody is attacking so that's why that male left the baby on sloping roof that was the roof has a slope that's something if you put on it so it can um, turn down the ruling on the ground so that circumstances forced the big lambo to drop the baby and that baby fell from roof into the veranda the baby was listless means it, it the baby had no baby is already so you know gentle and it was beaten so much it was it was scratched on its body there was so much happening so uh, happening in it so it was listless it was lifeless it was <coughs> no motion in its body and appeared to be dead it was looking like i said the baby is is completely finished dead but when you know it was slide slide sliding down from the roof so dog started to you know, be very excited because dog thought the baby is very very good me and easy to so these things were going on and if the writer was not there so though the baby was you know rescued or saved from the male langur but it was it had been killed by the by the dogs because it's like um, from upside one danger is finished downside another danger is waiting for the baby dogs otherwise dogs would have killed it so the writer thought a writer think you know writer had an idea about the very dangerous situation he took the stick and kicked the dogs away just then shook them and writer managed to take the baby baby stay in one hand brought it down side dropped in it and he saw the baby was a man it was lifeless there were very slow breathing was going on of a baby paragraph jo सेवन आहे त्याच्यामध्ये लेखक सांगत आहेत जे इन्सिडंट झालेलं आहे त्यांनी माफ म्हणजे जो पिलू होता किंवा ज्या ज्याला आपण म्हणून बेबी लंगूर आहे त्याला वाचवण्याचा प्रयत्न केलेला आहे आणि तो वाचलेला सुद्धा आहे मेन जो लंगूर होता त्याला त्या दोन्हीकडून झालेल्या हल्ल्यामुळं त्या बेबीला सोडलेला आहे स्लोपिंग रूफ होतं त्याच्यामुळं तो घसरळ खाली त्या वरण्यामध्ये आलेला आहे परंतु वरण्यामध्ये त्याच्यासाठी बेबीसाठी दुसरं एक डेंजर उभं होतं ते म्हणजे कुत्रे त्यांना वाटलं होतं की कुत्र्यांना असं वाटत होतं की हे बढिया मिल आहे आपण तिचं हंट करूया परंतु रायटरनं त्या कंडिशनची जाणीव करताच कुत्र्यांना बाजूला केलेला आहे आणि बेबीला कसं तरी मॅनेज करून घेऊन तो त्या वरण्याच्या बाजूला केलेला आहे सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट पॅराग्राफ सेव्हन सो लेस सी ऑन पॅराग्राफ पॅराग्राफ एट वी हॅव ऑन पेज नंबर टेन एव्हरीबॉडी